It's Wednesday, so it must be time for the Word of the Week. And our Word of the Week this week is existin. And existin is an impersonal verb. What do I mean about that? I mean it doesn't apply to people. It applies to uh, actions, conduct, and ideas. And it means it is lawful, it is possible, it is permitted, it is proper. And by that, I mean that existin describes most directly that which is possible in the sense that it isn't hindered by something, whether it be by something practical, by the law, or by social interventions. There are things that you can do and there are things that you can't do without repercussions. In the New Testament, it's mostly governed by God's law or God's will. When we say something is lawful, we mean that God will allow it or accept it. Um, so let's talk about some uh, examples before we get to the New Testament text. It's not lawful for me to walk up a wall. Why? Because gravity will hinder that effort. There will be interference by gravity if I try to walk up a wall. It's not lawful for me to date other women. Uh, why is that? Because my marriage vows and my love for my wife uh, don't allow for that kind of behavior. That's unacceptable behavior in light of my love for my wife and my marriage vows. It's, it's not lawful for me to worship idols because God's law forbids having any other gods before him, right? So that's the kind of hindrances, practical like gravity, social like your marital experience, and uh, legal like the law of God or uh, laws within society. You can't steal because the law says you're, you cannot steal, right? So... <clears throat> Uh, there are basically four different constructions for using this word existin. We're going to look at an example of each. The first one up is existin with a present infinitive. Why do you think the infinitive is in the present? Because the condition or the conduct that is, a, that is or isn't lawful either always is or always isn't. So it's a present tense infinitive. So let's take a look at Matthew chapter 12, verse 2. All of our examples today are from the ESV with the Koine Supplied. This is when Jesus' disciples were walking on the Sabbath and were crumbling up uh, heads of wheat in their hands to get the husks off and were eating the wheat berries. Uh, but when the Pharisees saw it, they said to him, Look, your disciples are doing what is not lawful to do on the Sabbath. So here's our phrase, ho uk existin poien. So ho here is the pronoun, that which, uk existin is, uk negates it, that which is not lawful, and here's our infinitive, poien, to do. That which is not lawful to do. The next construction is using the a dative of person as the indirect object of that which is lawful or not lawful. And our example is in 1 Corinthians 6, verse 12. All things are lawful for me, panta moi existin, but not all things are helpful. All things are lawful for me, panta moi existin, but I will not be dominated by anything. So the date of a person here is moi. It's it's two or four me in the dative case, and <clears throat> panta, all things existent, uh, are lawful. So is he saying that I can do anything that I want? Well, in a sense, but he says not everything, but I won't be dominated by those things, right? Not all things are helpful, not all things are good for me, and I'm not going to allow things to dominate me, and he reveals to us a significant aspect of our word of the week. It's not that you can't do these things. I can try to walk up the wall, but I will not be able to escape the consequences of trying to walk up the wall. If I try to date other women, the consequences will be devastating upon me because they will be destructive to the most precious thing in my life, my marriage. 
So it's not that you can't do the thing, it's that you can't do the thing without um, incurring the, uh, the consequences that naturally attach. Uh, let us go on to our third example, which is the is existent paired with an accusative and an infinitive. So the accusative will be the object of something, uh, and the infinitive will be the action that uh, is that's speaking to that object. And our example is Luke chapter six, verses three and four. It's really in verse four, but we need the context of verse three. And Jesus answered them, Have you not read what David did when he was hungry, he and those who were with him, how he entered the house of God and took and ate the bread of the presence, which is not lawful for any but the priests to eat, and also gave it to those with him? So he says, Hus uk existin fagain. Hus, another pronoun, which, and it's referring back to that bread, uh, is not lawful, uk existin, fagain, to eat. So, it's, so they're not allowed to eat that bread. Only the priests are allowed to eat that bread. But he gave it to uh, the people who were with him. He and those who were with him ate the bread that is not lawful for them to eat. That is only for priests, and they're not priests. But Jesus says, don't you understand, uh, sometimes the preservation of life, the well-being of people is more important than, uh, than a ritual law regarding the, uh, who gets to eat that bread, right? So uh, finally, we're going to see it used as a participle. This is in 2 Corinthians 12, verses 3 and 4. Uh, and again, it's actually in verse 4 where the participle is. And I know that this man was caught up into paradise, whether in the body or out of the body, I do not know. God knows. And he heard things that cannot be told, which man may not utter. And it, here in which man may not utter, we have our example. Ha uk exon anthropo lalesai. So that which, ha, that which, uk exon, not being lawful, Anthropon for a man, la lesai, to speak. So we get the whole package put together here. We have, uh, we have sort of a, um, uh, we have a dative, a anthropo, for a man. We have an infinitive, la lase, to speak. And we have uh, this, this uh, pronoun, that which, is not lawful, not being lawful with the participle describing it. That, uh, that which not being lawful for a man to speak. Uh, pretty wild stuff. All wrapped up together, all of our parts. So our word of the week is existi, an impersonal existin. It's existi if it's followed by uh, a word that doesn't accommodate the new at the end well. Uh, and it's an impersonal verb. It doesn't apply to people directly. It applies indirectly, like moi, the indirect object, like anthropo, an indirect object. Uh, and it means it is lawful, it is proper, it is possible, it is permitted or permissible, um, in the sense that it's not being hindered by something practical, legal, or social. Uh, but as Paul said, that doesn't mean you can't do the thing. <clears throat> no one's going to come in and, and uh, stop you from trying to walk up the wall, but be prepared to experience the consequences of doing the thing that uh, uk existin is not lawful. Thanks for watching. Hope that was good for you. If it was, you know what to do with all the social media stuff. Leave me some feedback in the comments. And until next time, Kars Kaya Humine, grace and peace to you.